Good evening everybody and welcome to Compline from St Michael at the Northgate Church in Oxford. Compline during the week when we celebrate Her Majesty's Platinum Jubilee and our prayers for her and for the royal family and for all those whom she serves. The Lord Almighty grant us a quiet night and a perfect end. Amen. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion walketh about, seeking whom he may devour, whom resist, steadfast in the faith. But thou, O God, have mercy upon us. Thanks be to God. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who has made heaven and earth. We reflect on the past day, and bring to our loving Heavenly Father all those things which need his forgiveness. We confess to God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, that we have sinned in thought, word, and deed through our own grievous fault. Wherefore we pray God to have mercy upon us. Almighty God, have mercy upon us. Forgive us all our sins and deliver us from all evil. Confirm and strengthen us in all goodness and bring us to life everlasting through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. May the Almighty and merciful Lord grant unto you pardon and remission of all your sins and the grace and comfort of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Praise ye the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. Before the ending of the day, creator of the world, we pray, that with thy wonted favour thou wouldst be our guard and keeper now. From all ill dreams defend our eyes, from nightly fears and fantasies. Tread underfoot our ghostly foe, that no pollution we may know. O Father, that we ask be done through Jesus Christ, thine only Son, who with the Holy Ghost in thee doth live and reign eternally. Psalm 4 this evening. Hear me when I call, O God of my righteousness. Thou hast set me at liberty when I was in trouble. Have mercy upon me, and hearken unto my prayer. O ye sons of men, how long will you blaspheme mine honour, and have such pleasure in vanity, and seek after leasing. Know this also, that the Lord has chosen to himself the man that is godly. When I call upon the Lord, he will hear me. Stand in awe and sin not. Commune with your own heart and in your chamber, and be still. Offer the sacrifice of righteousness, and put your trust in the Lord. There be many that say, Who will show us any good? Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon us. Thou hast put gladness in my heart, since the time that their corn and wine and oil increased. I will lay me down in peace and take my rest, for it is thou, Lord, only that makest me dwell in safety. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Jesus said, Come unto me, all ye that labour and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls, for my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. In this week of Jubilee, we remember King David. On Friday in Celtic Spirituality Reflection, we will be remembering Queen Esther. But today a very quick thought about David, the great king in Israel's history, still talked about, still inspirational, 3,000 years later. He is introduced to us in 1 Samuel chapter 16. Samuel has gone to Bethlehem because he has been guided there by God. It is there that he will be able to find the next king to follow Saul. Samuel goes to Jesse. Jesse lines up uh, a, a strong row of sons in front of Samuel. Uh, and Samuel wonders, well, maybe one of these will be the one. But he hears the voice of God quietly saying, the Lord has not chosen these. People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. 
People look at the outward appearance, but the Lord looks at the heart. So Samuel says to Jesse, are these all the sons you have? There is still the youngest, Jesse answered. He is tending the sheep. Samuel said, send for him. We will not sit down until he arrives. There is still the youngest. He is tending the sheep. This is how David is introduced. He is the youngest, the smallest, the weakest physically, and he tends sheep. And throughout the scriptures, the wonderful theme that it is in the small things that God is often most at work. And whether it's in the younger brother, or whether it's in Bethlehem, the little town, or whether it is in the baby Christ himself, out of small things, great things can happen. And David is introduced as a shepherd. He is tending the sheep. And the shepherd theme throughout the scriptures equally strong. And David himself would write the psalm, The Lord is my shepherd, therefore shall I lack nothing. And in David's dealings with his people, he seeks to be a shepherd. Occasionally gets, his wrong, gets it wrong, as we all do, but that is the aspiration. In our Queen's dealing with her people across the Commonwealth and nation, she has seen herself as uh, trying to be a figure of stability, of comfort, of compassion, of calm, shepherding her people. Christ himself says, I am the good shepherd, I lay down my life for the sheep. May we be thankful for those leaders who have shepherded us well, who have led us, guided us, looked after us. In those moments when we are called to leadership positions, which at various points we all are, in small or not so small ways, may God give us grace to have that same shepherd aspiration. And may we give thanks this week for Her Majesty the Queen, for her desire to be a shepherd to her people, and for her turning to the Good Shepherd, to Christ, for her inspiration and example. Amen. We pray for our Queen, Nation and Commonwealth and one another as we enter our final prayers. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. For thou hast redeemed me, O Lord, thou God of truth. I commend my spirit. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Ghost. Into thy hands, O Lord, I commend my spirit. Keep me as the apple of thine eye. Hide me under the shadow of thy wings. Preserve us, O Lord, while waking, and guard us while sleeping, that awake we may watch with Christ, and asleep we may rest in peace. Lord, now lettest thou thy servant depart in peace, according to thy word. For mine eyes have seen thy salvation, which thou hast prepared before the face of all people, to be a light to lighten the Gentiles, and to be the glory of thy people Israel. Our Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done in earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive them that trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. Lighten our darkness, we beseech thee, O Lord, and by thy great mercy defend us from all perils and dangers of this night. For the love of thy only Son, our Saviour, Jesus Christ. Amen. Be present, O merciful God, and protect us through the silent hours of this night, so that we who are wearied by the changes and chances of this fleeting world may repose upon thy eternal changelessness, through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Thank you so much for joining us this evening. Many blessings on the rest of your week. We will lay us down in peace and take our rest. For it is thou, Lord, only that makest us dwell in safety. Abide with us, O Lord, for it is toward evening, and the day is far spent. As the watchmen look for the morning, so do we look for you, O Christ. The Lord be with you, and with thy spirit. Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, bless us and preserve us. Amen.